Hello there everybody, welcome back to Football Park's Weekend Preview with Copybet. I'm Gab Sutton and today I'll be running through all my bets for this weekend's EFL action. So as always, we'll have an acca for the Championship, for League One and for League Two. And we might just have one or two outside chats for you to get involved with as well. Now remember, you can get £50 in free bets by using the link below and placing a £10 bet. And to do that, you can use any of these predictions or... Who knows, you might even want to use one or two of your own. So remember guys, you don't have to agree with me. Um, you can also make your own decisions ahead of the weekend EFL action. But whatever you decide, make sure you do it using the link below. And of course, gamble responsibly. So we're going to start right at the top and with the championship this weekend. And my treble uh, for the second tier is Leeds, Middlesbrough and Sunderland. Leeds in the 12.30 kickoff, they're playing Burnley, another side hotly fancied for promotion. But Leeds, I'm happy to back them at odds on. And um, I think they're actually a more creative side this season, despite losing the likes of Archie Gray, Crescentio, Somerville and Jorginho Ruta. Um, I think they're better collectively this season. And I think that's going to show against the Burnley side I'm yet to be entirely convinced by. Now, 7-10 to 10 is a bit short for this kind of match. Um, so if you want to go make the price a little bit chunkier, you can also go via the both teams to score option at 5-2. to two. So Leeds to win and both teams to score, that's 5-2. to two. Uh, Middlesbrough, I think, are going to be Preston North End this weekend. Middlesbrough have got lots of creative players, none more so than Finn Azaz, who I'm really excited by. Uh, they've got Tom, Tommy Conway as well. Uh, Hayden Hackney in midfield are a massive fan of. I think they're going to have too much quality for Paul Hecking bottom side, so I'm going to back the Borough at 42 to 100. Now Sunderland, my favourite team this season, they're 77 to 100 to win at Plymouth Argyle. Um, Sunderland have got started with four wins out of four. Um, I've been so impressed with them and I think they're going to have far too much quality again for the Pilgrims. Um, I'm loving Joe Bellingham in midfield. Um, I think uh, the um, the young lad that they've got, Chris Rigg, only 17, but you wouldn't think it based on the way that he's playing, would you? Uh, I think he's a serious, serious talent that could go right to the top. Uh, Trey Hume as well at right back, I'm a massive fan of, and they've got Dallin back. Dan Ballard back fit as well. So Sunderland uh, away from home at 77 to 100. I'm a big fan of that. So to cap it all off, I've got Leeds at 7 to 10 to beat Burnley. I've got Middlesbrough to beat uh, Preston North End at 42 to 100. And I've got Sunderland to win at Plymouth Argyle at 77 to 100. Now, if you want to combine those into an ACA, that you can back that one at 3 to 1. And a £10 bet would return you £42.13. Nice little profit from that one. Good luck with your bets. Now, down we go to the third tier, and I'm backing Stockport County, Reading, and Rotherham this weekend. Stockport County at four to six. Um, I'm a big fan of them to win at Crawley at that price because Crawley, as much as they started with back to back wins, they deserved it on the opening day against Blackpool. A little bit of a smash and grab, I thought, at Cambridge on week two, um, and they've returned no points for the Red Devils since then. Uh, whereas Stockport County have had an astonishing start to their season um, of it having enjoyed 10 points from their first four games for Dave Challoner's side. Um, really impressed by Stockport County. They've got so much squad depth. They've poached goalkeeper Corey Adai from Crawley. They've also recruited well from League Two as well with the likes of Jay Mingi and um, Jaden Fevrier as well from Colchester who I've been so impressed by. They've got Louis Barry back as well on loan from Aston Villa. He's one of the star players in the division as he was in League Two. Um, so Stockport I think are clearly far better than Crawley Town and I'm more than happy to back them at 4 to 6. We're also going to move to the Medeski Stadium where Reading are 77 to 100 to beat Leighton Orient. Now I'm not writing the O's off entirely because they were competitive in their first three games of the season against some good teams in uh, Birmingham, in Charlton and Bolton Wanderers and were lucky, unlucky to return no points. But after they lost 3-0 at Shrewsbury Town just before their international interlude, um, I'm a little bit reluctant to get behind them so I'm going to back Reading who I think are a really exciting young team coached superbly by Ruben Sellers. Uh, I think Charlie Savage is getting better and better in midfield and I think Tyler Binden and Amadou and Beng form a really rock solid centre back pairing. So for me I'm happy to back Reading at 77 to 100. 
Rotherham are 1-2 to beat Burton Albion. Rotherham have just the one win to their name so far this season, but Burton have none. Um, so both teams hoping to add to their column uh, this weekend. But Rotherham have been creating chances, um, even though their only win of the season has come against Huddersfield. You feel like they're getting closer and closer. They've got Joe Rafferty back fit at right back, which should give them a lot more balance. And there was an instant improvement from there. Um, in their 1-1 draw at Charlton last week. Um, they've also got John Hugill to possibly come into the team and his partnership with Sam Nompe has looked very dangerous with Malik Vilks in the 10. Um, I'm backing Rotherham to get past um, a possession-based Burton Albion side um, at 1-2. So... I'm backing Stockport at 4-6 to, to win at Crawley. I'm backing Reading to beat Leighton Orient at 77-100. to 100. And I'm beating Rotherham to beat Burton Albion at 1-2. to two. Um, Now, to put that into an acre, uh, that gives you odds of 3-1 to one and a £10 bet returns you £44.25. Last but not least, it's League Two, where Notts County are 7-5 to five to win at Bromley. Now, that's one of my favourite bets of the weekend. I think Notts County are one of the clear best teams in the league. We've seen what they've done to Grimsby Town a few weeks ago when they thrashed the Mariners for one, a decent side themselves. And they beat Accrington Stanley 2-0 last weekend without the likes of Jody Jones, who's just signed a new contract. Uh, a great sign of the work being done at Notts County and the project in place under Stuart Maynard. And and without, uh, without Dan Crowley as well. So it shows they've got loads of depth. Um, they've improved defensively from all sorts of angles, whether it's having a better goalkeeper, whether it's better individual defenders. Jacob Badeau's one of the signings of the season at the back. They're pressing better this season as well. They look a much more rounded side, Notts County. More defensive diligence from their wing-backs as well. So I'm backing the, um, the Magpies to win in, in South London. Notts County, 7-5 for me. Um, Salford City, I'm backing at 87 to 100 to beat Cheltenham Town because I've seen Cheltenham twice this season um, and although they've won both games against Newport County and against Harrogate Town, I've been unconvinced by them in both games and I think Salford City are a bit of a step up, especially with the quality of Tyrese Fauna in midfield and Stefan Nagel at the back. So for me, Salford City at 87 to 100, I'm happy to back them to beat Cheltenham Town. Now, I've made my Akia a little bit chunkier by putting in a 17 to 10 shout um, to round it off and that's for Chesterfield to win at Port Vale. Now the Vale of course got their second victory of the season winning 4-1 at Newport and their away form this season has been good but they're not so, you can't say the same for their home form with no wins at Vale Park so far this season whereas Chesterfield for me what I like to focus on at this stage of the season, I like to focus on teams' floors, um, on teams' ceilings. Because if teams have, um, I think teams can find, have the time to work out consistency at this stage of the season, but it's really about what they can do at their best. And for me, Chesterfield, at their best, are one of the best teams in the league. That attacking quartet of Dylan Marcande, Armando Dobra, James Berry and Will Grigg looks really dangerous. They've got Ollie Banks in midfield who sprays those passes around. Tom Naylor at the back I'm a big fan of as well. Um, and I, I really like Paul Cook as a manager and I, I probably rate him a bit higher than Darren Moore. So for me, Chesterfield at 17-10 to 10 for an away win round off this Acker. So to sum it up, Notts County at 7-5, to five, Salford at 87-100. And Chesterfield at 17 to 10. Now, that gives you by far my biggest hacker of the weekend. That's an 11 to 1 shot, shot which I absolutely love those quotes. So, yeah, really recommended by me. Um, and a £10 bet would return you £121.18 if this one comes off. I've got three outsiders for you as well across the each of the three leagues. Starting in the championship, Oxford United are 2-1 to one to beat Stoke City this weekend. I've been really impressed with the Yellows so far this season. I think they've been competitive in all their games. A couple of individual errors have kind of let them down a little bit, but with Mark Harris up top, when championship player of the month for August, and Cameron Brannigan in midfield, um, I think they've been really impressive so far this season. And they're facing a Stoke side who although they won one at Plymouth Argyle just before the international weekend they were a bit fortuitous so for me Oxford United as a home side at two to one I'm really liking that price there I'm going to go with that one uh, I also like two to one on Huddersfield to win at Bolton because um, I'm not panicking for Bolton just yet but I am a little bit um, 
had a Bolton Wanderers fan on my podcast last night. He said something didn't quite smell right from the first four games. They feel a little bit different to last season and something's a little bit amiss. Um, and there's also um, a bit of a tension in the stadium at the moment that I think Huddersfield could exacerbate under an excellent manager in Michael Duff. So I've just got a feeling Huddersfield are going to get a result. Now, if you don't fancy backing the Terriers at 2-1, to one, given that Bolton are the home side, you can also back them at uh, the draw no bet option at 13 to 10 and finishing it off in league two Newport County three to one for victory at Swindon um, although Newport lost 4-1 at home to Port Vale last weekend I've actually been impressed by Newport as a footballing side I think they're brave on the ball their two sixes Aaron Wildig um, especially is very brave and Brim Morris as well um, they collect the ball off the defence and they resist the press really well uh, and they play through it and they've got Bobby Camwell out wide who's got lots of pace and strength and skill and Courtney Baker Richardson's a great focal point too. Um, so for me Newport have uh, definitely caught my eye so far this season uh, and they're at a Swindon side who have also... Swindon lost 4-0 in their first home game uh, against Warsaw this season and there's, uh, they only managed to get a point at Barrow despite facing um, no natural goalkeeper for 60 minutes of that game um, and uh, I think that maybe suggests question marks at Swindon under Mark Kennedy given that there's also off-field um, concerns for, for the Wiltshire club as well. Um, I think that can create a bit of a frosty atmosphere at the county ground. So Newport at 3-1, to one, I'm a big fan of. So uh, my outside picks for this weekend's action, I like Oxford to beat Stoke City at 2-1. to one. I like Huddersfield uh, to win at Bolton, also 2-1, to one, or 13-10 to 10 via the draw no bet option. And I like Newport to win at Swindon at 3-1. to one. So remember, you can use the link in the description below to get £50 in free bets. Please gamble responsibly, as always. Good luck for your selections, and we'll see you next this time next week.